right. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about everybody going to Texas. What's by the way, here? check out that uh, comment by Melissa there. She's predicting the future of the show right there. What's that? What, where rent where? is cheap? Oh, where here. rent is cheap in NYC oh. now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get onto this. We but before, this. Uh, guess what the Texas governor has said? He says that companies are moving their headquarters to the state, and that that the number of those companies is a tidal wave. So it's a, happening a lot. Uh, we kind of mentioned it. Uh, I don't think there was a story necessarily about it, but we kind of mentioned it on the show a week or two ago. Elon Musk has personally not moved his business there. He does have new um, uh, factories being built, but he has personally moved to Texas. So he's out of California. He's moved to Texas. And but also Joe Rogan. Joe's gone. He moved from LA to, uh, to Texas as well. Yeah, Ro I call him Road Jogan, by the way. But anyway, Texas governor... Greg Abbott, he told CNBC on Friday that the number of companies deciding to move their headquarters to the Lone Star State has accelerated due in part to the Rona. Ray says, Pandy, I say Rona. Uh, the governor's comments, by the way, in the article, it says the Republican governor's comments. I'm like, why is that even, why? He's just, a, he's a governor. Why does it no, have they, to be? A they always do that. Anytime there's a Republican that says anything, they'd be sure to say it. But usually they'll just say governor or representative and you have to go look up and find, oh, that's a Democrat. That's right. No, I, mean, I see the Democrat that. side too. It's just, it's just funny to me. But maybe because it's California going to Texas, I don't know. The story's not only about that, but that's uh, he gets into that. So the governor's comments came shortly after it was reported that software giant Oracle is moving its corporate center from Redwood City, California in Silicon Valley to Austin, Texas which is also a pretty blue city. Uh, let's see. Hewlett Packard Enterprise also said earlier this month it is moving its headquarters to Houston from San Jose, California. Earlier this fall, real estate giant CBRE, previously noted on the show, uh, officially shifted its HQ from Los Angeles to Dallas. Uh, and this is going back to a quote from the governor himself, Greg Abbott. I have been on the phone on a weekly basis with CEOs across the country. And it's not just California, Abbott said. Um, yeah, that was on fast money referencing his meeting last month with officials from the NASDAQ. Uh, he goes on to say, we're working across the board because the times of the Rona have exposed a lot. Uh, they've exposed that you really don't have to be in Manhattan, for example, in order to be involved in the trading business or in the investment business. Interesting that he mentions Manhattan specifically. Uh, but in, in addition to the Rona demonstrating the feasibility of move uh, more widespread remote work, Abbott said there are other characteristics attracting companies to Texas. Uh, and this is a quote from him again. Cost of business means a lot. No income tax means a lot. <laughs> but also the freedom to operate without the heavy hand of regulation means a lot. Uh, so this is kind of like, you remember, geez, it's been. That's a One funny week since you looked at me. Yeah, so it's been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, I don't know when this was, I don't have a time frame. I don't know how it is in my brain, but there was, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, a lot of companies or a lot of movie studios, they weren't shooting in LA anymore. They were shooting in Toronto. And then a lot of it moved to Georgia. Remember that? Yeah. Like a lot of things. So it's kind of like that. It's not, not necessarily a mass exodus, but it's, there's a lot of it and there's a big chunk, uh, happening. And then the article does it go on to mention, uh, Musk, who who personally moved there, and then he has uh, factories for both Tesla and um, uh, SpaceX being built there. Uh, Eric Daniels says they cite uh, they quote unquote cite they. business friendly environment and wonderful tax situation with the no state income tax uh, compares quite favorable to California with the highest in the nation at thirteen point three percent. Does. Mm -hmm. Walking Dead that was filmed in Georgia. Says most yeah, so crazy though. Like, I get that they're shooting there; it's cheaper to shoot there. But there's zombies there. <laughs> like, how would you want to live in Georgia? There's zombies. True, true. So uh, I think that's affecting their real estate market. I would guess and jobs and all that stuff. Zombies, you know what I mean? Interesting. Melissa says. Plus, does that Tyler Perry have a huge studio in Georgia too? I yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It does seem it does seem like uh, Hollywood's starting to spread out a little bit instead of be you know located yeah. in one. I love living here. I, you know, I don't have a big company to move or whatever. I love living here, so I'm good with it. You are a big company, my friend. In person, did you did you, uh, did you hear about that one guy from Texas that was moving out to California? 
it was just one guy. He actually stopped at a small town in California and he was like, Hey, I'm, I'm headed to San Jose. Can I get directions? And the guy <laughs> in California was like, no, man, it's not San Jose. It's San Jose. He was like, Oh, okay. Well, after that, I'll probably, I'll go to San Jose and then I'm going to go to San Juan. And the guy, the guy in California was like, no, man, where are you from? The guy's like, I'm from Texas. He's like, no, around here we say J's like H's, but how long are you going to go? And he said, well, I'll probably stick around till Hoon or Hula. <laughs> if y'all didn't sense the joke coming. Ah, it's so good. I love that joke. Uh, you're welcome, everyone. There's your joke for Christmas. There's your Christmas joke. Can we go back to So, okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if there's much more on that story. Uh, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see, you know, not just California, but all the other epicenters of technology and stuff who's going to move their headquarters remember it just says headquarters it doesn't necessarily say factories it says headquarters Operations. which is also kind of cool because when you move a headquarter there what does that do that creates new jobs so are people gonna is that gonna add to the uh um, commercial real estate or are people gonna work remotely still live in california but headquarters is in tejas why would you leave your headquarters i mean there's no reason to leave a headquarters in California. You can have workers work from anywhere, right? But right. There's definitely not a reason to leave. Your Unless it's a physical oh, factory yeah. that they have to go to where you have to build, you know, X number of widgets daily. Yeah. Other than that, like, wouldn't you headquarter out of anywhere else you could with a low tax rate? Yeah. You would go where it cost makes effective is. And then hopefully they take those savings and pass yeah. them on to their employees and not to their CEOs.